the first round. The continued development of Manchester's precocious, rounded, level-headed and increasingly impressive youngster, John Murray. Each appearance that ticks by seems to add to his reputation. Now undefeated in 15 as he meets Colombia's decent-looking Nacho Mendoza. It's uh, Murray's first 10-rounder. And Jim, I bet you can't wait to see how he fares here. Get vivid. The brightest young prospect we have in the country at the moment, coming along nicely, I think he's improving faster than any, any of the other young fighters at this stage. Looking forward to seeing how far he can take it. Bit of a throwback about Murray's appliance to the game. Wants to build up experience Ooh. going the quiet way. Fast hands of Mendoza here in the first round. They know, they've studied takes, that this guy's pretty tough. Powerful looking punches from Mendoza as well. Murray managed to block them, thankfully. But they seem to have very similar styles. I think this is going to be entertaining for as long as it lasts. <laughs> Black trucks of the 20-year-old. It's just been uh, catching the eye of many hardened critics. Travelled out already to the States and to Canada for uh, international experience. But this is uh, a good start too from Ooh. Mendoza. I mean, the good news for Murray, he seems to be wanting to stay in for the exchanges, whereas Mendoza backs off. But Mendoza's thrown a lot of solid-looking, accurate punches, catching Murray as he comes forward. I've seen Murray maybe been caught a couple of times in the first round of previous fights. And he's maybe just a little bit too keen to get down to the business here. But yep, this is shaping up nicely. Targeting the body, uppercut back from... Mendoza, who's only a couple of years older at 22, and he's won 16 of his 19. See, the signs in the last minute of the round here that Murray is making an impression on Mendoza. Mendoza's probably winning the round on accurate punches. But I can they feel like Murray's maybe just making his first What's statement it? here. Excellent action in the first session as Murray tries to dig in body right. shots. Slow down, Mendoza, who has to take a deep breath already. See, that's what I feel, he's been taking punches in the way in, but he's making a statement, he's showing Mendoza, I'll come through what you've got and give you better. Didn't win the round in my cards, but I think he, he passed the message across. What a cracking start. Big breaths, OK? Lovely boxing that, okay, he's moving on the set side, like we've seen on the tape, he's looking to move, he needs to settle, when he stops, he'll throw, when he's moving, they're just the tippy-tappy jabs, okay, the tippy-tappy like jabs. we've seen on the tape, says Joe right Gallagher, the top, moves, who's uh, an tap. expert historian, he got three out from the internet, they've done their homework. Yeah, well, they always do, they pay attention to details, which is very important, but Murray made Mendoza work for every second of that opening round, and I don't think he was all that comfortable with it. He took some punches in the way in, which didn't seem to trouble him too much. I had Mendoza winning the round on the punches landed, but I think the money camp will be quite happy because they've shown Mendoza how hard and how tough young Murray is. Here's the second, nine stone nine lightweight contest scheduled for ten. We've got three judges ringside because there's a minor WBC youth belt on the line, just a stepping stone title, really. It's been held by uh, good fighters like Miguel Cotto and Brian Valoria. So uh, something for Murray to aim for, but really the win all important against uh, a Colombian based in Spain, Nacho Mendoza. And it was a rapid fire first round. I think Murray has a determination about his work and his attitude that is quite impressive. He takes solid shots and you know he's feeling them, but he doesn't change facial expression, just looks straight back and stays where he is. But it looks to me like they're expecting a hard fight here and he's quite prepared for it, rubbing his head in a little bit there. 
See, again, this is where he's happy to stand there training. We'll see who breaks off first in this exchange. Yeah, quick hands from Mendoza, but doesn't Murray look strong when he backs him up? That was the game plan. They don't feel that Mendoza is that effective on the back foot. The body shots ripping in from John Murray. This is really good action. First impressions of right. Mendoza, not a bad little throw either. He's fought for a couple of minor titles himself, Mendoza. Only two defeats on the record. Tries a body shot of his own. He's not a big puncher with seven knockouts. Murray with eight just have the edge in that department. Looks strong though, doesn't he, Murray? He sometimes makes the mistake of being too close to Mendoza without throwing punches. Sometimes, if he's not working, he should just step back out of range. Well, the, the only upsetting thing about this round is that Murray looked better in the early stages and he's lost his way a little bit as the round's gone on. That's not an encouraging sign. Body shot side to side. John Keane did just have a little word to say, keep them up. To Murray. Backing up Mendoza on those ropes. Some pace this is being fought at. Yeah, if it's a kind of macho thing, I don't, either, I don't think either man wants to be the first to back off here. But Murray's still looking that a little bit more comfortable with this pace and this type of fight. Stabbed his right eye a couple of times at the end of that round, Mendoza. So Luis Savaya with Mendoza. Does his training in uh, Madrid in September 2002 so he's got ambition too yep and uh, and this kind of style I don't think it'll be too long before they can start topping bills with young Murray he's maybe taking a few more chances here tonight than I would like I, don't, I wonder maybe if his eye was slightly damaged by the cup of a glove there because he seemed to go to sleep for a little half minute in the middle of that round let Mendoza back in again but he finished the round strongly get back to doing some straight shots keep your hands up Up. Round three. Here's the third round, 16th fight in the uh, career of John Murray, and he's not had many easy ones so far. A lot of comparisons to Kevin Mitchell, Amir Khan, other engaging and bright prospects in the country. It's uh, this one about work the old fashioned way, taking uh, difficult engagements at short notice and coming through them should bode him well turn south for jim yep i was just about to say that i mean he seems more comfortable up close with mendoza i would like to see him maybe spend the first minute of a round at long range just to see can the, can the jab work can he outbox him good shot from money there that had an effect and again Murray's power seemed to trouble Mendoza there. Has been stopped in his career once before. In this, the third round by uh, Viva Kirikosian, a dangerous Russian. And Murray knows that. He's got such an exciting style to watch as well, Murray. Yeah, but he's maybe just a little bit too keen to stand. Yeah, not, I mean, in this kind of fight, you're not using, you're not really thinking what you're doing. You're just reacting, standing up close. Now that was nice, a little step to the side. But see, then again, you just want to step back, a little bit of room, come back and try something different. He's been caught down again with a good, solid right uppercut counter. But I think he's still making the point. 
that he's the physically stronger and he can be the boss in this one. Body shots are good. Yeah, the occasional gulp of air from the Colombian, who uh, throws back his own combinations. Not quite as much zip in them as there were in the first round. Murray's pushing him back too, so he's, right. he's balanced his back. Not so much snapping the punches. Murray's still the one looking happier with this kind of fight and this kind of pace. Now Mendoza turns south for there, trying out different angles, different styles. And just uh, pushes Mendoza over. That was actually the second time he pushed him. I thought the referee was going to have a word with him. He hasn't done. But he pushed him a couple of times there. Physical strength could come into this, of course. Yep, Mendoza looking for a breather. Murray still prepared to grind it out. That's lovely, John. All right, lovely. You've got some really well there, son. OK, keeping your head on in there. OK, he's only working when he wants to work, all right? right? But sooner or later, he's firing back, son, all right? All right? You've got to be aware of that. Don't think you're getting into a comfort zone where you're hitting him and hitting him and he's not doing anything, all right? He is there and he's kidding him. He's doing a bit of rope-a-dope and everything, so don't be going full belt. He's doing right. a bit of cracking left up there. He did wobbling, but recovered very quick, all There's right? Joe Gallagher, so words of wisdom. You were impressed with their professional attitude when we saw them in Florida, weren't you, the team? Yep, yeah, yeah, they, they pay attention to every detail. They take the game very seriously. Seriously, and it was quite refreshing. And he also uh, worries about young John. Make sure everything's right. Corners, and I tell you, seconds. his last couple of fights they've been fairly good matches, but he's come through them well. And he looks to be doing the same again seconds tonight up. so far. Round four. Here's the fourth round. Remember the black trunks of Manchester's John Murray, five foot nine tall. Way just under the lightweight limit at 982. Slightly heavier than Nacho Mendoza, who's in his 20th outing, the Colombian. Have we seen all we need to know about Mendoza? Murray keeping his defense tight as always before committing. Yeah, just maybe doing what I was hoping he would do, just a little bit more thought here. Just picking his moments to let the punches go, not marching straight up to Mendoza and just training. This is better. This is where it is so effective. He's thinking a little bit more what he's doing. Very sensible attitude outside of the ring. John Murray, good body shots here from Mendoza. Mentally, you hope that would uh, keep Murray in good stead inside the ropes. Hasn't given up yet, though, Mendoza, has he? No, but I think he's nice. I think Mendoza feels maybe he needs a, a big round here to knock some of the ambition out of Murray. That's what he's trying to do. His punches are a bit wider than Murray. Murray's punches are more controlled. Still targeting Mendoza's body. John Murray, who's coming off a uh, win in this round, the fourth over Tyrone Wiggins. That was out in Quebec. Not afraid to travel. That's a good sign. See, sometimes the problem with starting a fight with these kind of tactics, you're stuck with them. I always feel maybe the first couple of rounds, long range, use the jab, try to break opponents up, look for some weaknesses. But John Murray gets right down to business. He's chosen these tactics, and I think he's stuck with them now for as long as this one goes. It's just head down and uh, wielding the shots in from John Murray. And a little dip in the pace here, as you can expect, because they've really been going at it for a full three rounds, almost a full four rounds. Just a little swelling under the right eye of Murray. Left hook from Mendoza, who's trying to uh, find his way out of this little predicament on the ropes. 
A little bit uh, untidy with his head there, I think. But I think learning to pace a fight is very, very important as well when you move up to title level. I don't know that young John thinks too much about that. More of a tired look about the way Mendoza went back at the end of that round. See the body punches, really, that John Murray is throwing tonight to slow Mendoza down. But there was definitely a little dip in John's pace towards the end of the round, which has to be expected. You catch him with great, you catch him with great left hooks on the counter. But you need to put another right and a left on it. Counter with three shots, not singles. All right. Yeah. yeah. Solid right. look about so it for a 20-year-old. Yeah, very okay. mature, so very, very strong. Nice and and uh, I mean, he gives you the impression when the going gets rough that you know he won't be found wanting. He doesn't mind having to grind things out. But this is a little bit early to have to start thinking about grinding a performance. This is a hard night's work for both of them. It's his sixth fight of uh, 2005. They've really propelled John Murray through in this calendar year. It's been uh, fairly successful. Last two stoppage wins. The first three came on uh, distance decisions. He's uh, boxing southpaw a lot of the time here against Nacho Mendoza. trying to help muscle him, isn't he? Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind him stiff. See, I wouldn't, wouldn't mind him stepping back, starting up another attack. He's just standing right in front of Mendoza. I mean, he's doing it the hard way, but maybe it's, it's not required, it's not really necessary. Where's the jab that he used so effectively against Johnny Walker out in Tampa? I don't that's think you've seen many at, of them. That's where he was at his best when he was thinking what he's doing on the way in, but he's just marching straight up and just slugging it out with Mendoza. He wants to do it physically. I mean, things are working, there's no problem. He is out working Mendoza, his body shots are good. But, but, but you wonder if, if adopting this kind of style is improving his overall technique any. Mendoza spent quite a bit of the fight up against the ropes, looking for uh, countering combinations. I mean, it's possible they felt if they allowed Mendoza to box at his own pace, it would be more of a problem, and that is quite possible. <coughs> so maybe the camp feel getting top of him, keep him on his back foot, don't allow him to come forward. They're certainly doing that. But uh, really is hard, hard work the way he's going about it. Could come down to fitness, of course. Murray always keeps himself in uh, shape. Models himself on uh, Ricky Hatton. Work rate where he trains and builds up to a fight. Body shot from Murray, and less back from Mendoza. Well, it started off well, we like the look of it, and it stayed exactly the same. This is a real good little spectacle here. Big look at his corner there, Mendoza. And plenty of time left in the fight. And these body shots, are they starting to take their toll? Slowly breaking up, I thought again, beautiful right hook round the side, okay? Disguise it a little bit more, okay? Work this left yeah. up, left up round the side, left up a cup. But I want to see you next time, John, when she's getting tired. Don't do it early on the round, okay? It's nice and fresh, all right? Later on the round, the pinch also right hook. Right You're up starting up, to up, break up. him up. I think he's right, Joe Gallagher. Yeah, I think so too, but I like one of the things that Joe said there is uh, don't do it at the beginning of the round, save it. See, as I was saying a couple of rounds ago, pacing a fight when you get to championship level is very, very important. You don't 
don't win a round with 200 punches if you can yeah, win nice it with 50. Tight, nice and tight. Watch the shots down so the Robert middle. Moore he, thought only has, he works for 30 seconds each round. Or, uh, oh. All right, and they've got to finish the round strong. Okay, when you push him to the corner, bang the four shots in. Bang, 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 bang. Got so that's what that's good advice. Down. You know, you don't, don't well, want well, to commit that's yourself in the opening round. You want to finish round stronger anyway to impress the judges. They have an exceptionally close relationship, Joe Gallagher and John Murray, as we enter the second half. This is Murray's first scheduled 10-rounder, remember. Three judges at ringside if it does go the distance because of this youth title on the line. But can Murray force the stoppage? There were signs at the end of the last round that Mendoza was really feeling the pace. See what Murray's doing at the beginning of this round. He's fainting, he's pressurising, he's making Mendoza work, but he's doing nothing himself. So once the steam starts to leave Mendoza, then put the pedal down, as opposed to just meeting him head on as soon as the bell rings. Already ranked about 10th in the country in a very hot domestic lightweight division. And he's cranking up the heat now, John Murray. He's pinned Mendoza back in the neutral corner, and some of these are getting through, and getting through hard. And he's just standing that little half-step back, giving himself the room to get leverage into the, the punches. That was a beautiful piece of work there from Murray. Just don't go to sleep on it now. And again, Mendoza threatens coming out of his shell. And there's nothing wrong with he. You produce some good work, just back off and start all over again. If you stop throwing punches, get out of there. That was a good, oh, he was shaking there, that was a good punch back from Mendoza. He's doing the right thing, he's clinching, but that punch had an effect on him. Your legs dipped. See, that was the time, he produced some good work, and get back out of there, don't wait for the counter-attack. Mendoza right. will try and throw everything he can. Well, he's got the energy left, but Murray just out working, out hustling, out muscling Mendoza. Well, we're finding out something else about Murray because there's no question he was shaken by that punch. He did the right thing, he clinched straight away, didn't fire back. His head's clearing now, the snap seems to be back into his own punches. But that may be a lesson learned there. He's a very honest pro, John Murray shout off about his ability because he wants to do well in the sport wants to learn every single fight so when he's ready for the big ones he will really be ready well a little scared in that round from murray but i think he produced a better work over the three minutes This is where he just a little half step back, give him some, some room to come off, wasn't allowing the counters to come back. But just shortly after this, he stopped working, but he stayed in punching range. When you've done your bit, you've impressed the judges, your opponent's going into a little bit of a shell, so you're not going to land any clean punches on the target. Look, he's like a crab in there. So step out of there and start all over again. But he lingered a little bit too long, and he got caught. That was the first punch. I think there was a stronger one come back, which definitely shook him a little bit. Yep, that's the one. Nice and tight. Hit Left down the side. Reminder oh, from Ten Nacho seconds. Mendoza. Don't get caught in no man's land. Driver in or you're out. Ah. Both oh, times your hands are up, all right? Seconds out. Round seven. Here's the seventh round. John Murray has been eight once against the Frenchman Mounier Gaybath earlier in uh, the year. But, uh, yeah class of opposition in Nacho Mendoza, Colombian based in Spain, looking for his 17th win, Murray his 16th. Good match on paper and it's turned out that way. Yeah, well even Murray's last time out, it, it shaped up in the first couple of rounds, it's been a real hard night's work, but it made it easy for himself. But I don't think there's any way to make this easy. This is a decent opponent. 
to have a man with tonight. On his bike now, Mendoza, bit by bit, he sense Murray might just be grinding him down. But he needs to sustain it. Good right hand from Murray. Murray still has the look of the man who's more comfortable with what's happening here. He's settled the pace down, picking his punches a bit more. Good left hook. Composed for the most in control. Again, whips in the body shot from the southpaw stance. John Murray. Mendoza's using up a lot of energy, winging these big swings that he throws. Gasping for air again there. Murray more controlled, more compact, just drilling the punches out. To go 12 rounds in Italy in uh, July, Mendoza. It's different being tested in the stamina department by someone as uh, hungry and focused and pretty ferocious as John Murray, who's again beginning to land meaningful blows. Good little fight. Yeah, there's no way this was ever going to be an easy night's work for Murray. And he's never flinched through all the hard parts that he's had to just grit his teeth and go on with it. He's always done that. <laughs> Still, Mendoza threatens the work rate and drive from Murray. There's a nasty bump. There's a nasty bump on John Murray's forehead. I don't know where that's come from, but it's that's really swollen up. That's definitely heads coming together. That is nasty. Thankfully, it's high, well away from the, the eyebrow. But that's definitely heads coming together, no question. Another good round for Murray. It's a big egg shape, and Terry Stewart, the cuts man, will go straight to work with the end swell on it. All right, son, OK. All you've got to do is got a bit of swell in there, and yeah, nothing to worry about. OK, he's got the iron on it there, OK? Nothing to worry about, all right? OK, nice and tight, seven down, eight to go, three rounds to go, nine minutes work. All right, yep. son, keeping it nice and tight all the time. You look lovely there when you're pushing to ropes, banging it, but you're just keeping that chin a little bit high, all, all right? right? When you keep go back to orthodox, don't be switching southpaw on it, all right? All right. Go orthodox, OK? Yeah. You're getting a bit predictable that same southpaw all the time when you're teeing up, OK? Yep. Give me a Dance nice and tight. Very interesting words from Joe Gallagher, keeping everything okay, calm. Son. Come on, Chuck. Doesn't want him to go back to Southport. It's interesting too. He wasn't boxing so far long range. It was when he was up close, so it's there. So it's not quite so important, but uh, good advice nevertheless. Good body shot. Nine minutes left of uh, an intriguing encounter. Jim's got John Murray four up. Three judges at ringside. Got to deal with this uh, large swelling on the head, but he's going for it now, John Murray. Really planting those feet, looking for the body punches. See, I think Mendoza used up a lot of steam in the previous round with the wide punches he was throwing. Maybe Murray feels the strength sapping a little bit up close, I don't know. But he's looking really to take charge here. Just when you think he's getting on top, something comes back from this very brave and game Nacho Mendoza. See, there are times like this I wouldn't mind Murray just backing off and starting all over again. Different things for him to deal with every fight he takes part in and that's part of the learning experience tired punches coming from Mendoza at the moment i think he is looking for a breather here hasn't stopped working john murray throwing so many punches mendoza 
in little spurts, comes back firing and catches John Murray a couple of times there. Yep, these are these wide, slashing looking punches. He had a nosebleed already, so I think it's just worsened. I don't know if the. A bloodied nose, and the doctor's going to have a. He's worried look about the bump, Adam. At the forehead swelling, a head clash caused it's all over. the bump. And it's they're all stopping the fight. Adam, the bump is almost twice the size now. It's horrendous looking. So that Adam. will go to the cards, Jim, because. It was a head clash that caused that nasty swelling. Three judges at ringside. Bob Logist, Daniel van der Vila from Belgium and Larry O'Connell as Nacho Mendoza raises his arms. But you believe, Jim, that John Murray should be in front? Oh, yeah, definitely, without a doubt. All the way through, he was the one with that little edge. A lot of the rounds were close. All of the rounds were hard. But he always seemed to have that little edge. He was setting the pace. He was grinding that little bit harder. Full credit to Mendoza. I thought he put up a tremendous show. But uh, no choice. The, the swelling, the, the swelling on the head just almost doubled in size. And you can see that the, the heads were banging together. So much was done at close quarters. You have to expect heads to be banging together. Nothing sinister, nothing intentional. But there you can see how often the heads were banging together. Very hard, competitive fight. Bob Logis just walked past us and uh, nodded to John Murray's side. So I think we know what his card's going to say. Should have kept that unbeaten record intact. Probably wanted the stoppage, could see Mendoza tiring. But the doctor and John Keane intervened and it really is a grotesque swelling and he'll need a break after this John Murray kept his cool though yeah a good performance all the way around uh, a tough fight at this stage of his career he coped with it well no complaints from me a couple of times maybe he stayed in a little bit too long when he'd stopped throwing punches took maybe countering punches didn't have to take but that's all that's all learning, it'll all take time and experience, but that was an excellent opponent, excellent performance, and hopefully an excellent verdict. Yeah, fortunately for him, it was an accidental head clash, which means we go to the scorecards. Good fight. More education for John Murray, has he got it? Ladies and gentlemen, after an accidental clash of heads, the referee has stopped the contest. In the rules of the WBC, we then go to the judges' scorecard as it is an accidental foul. The judges' scorecards read as follows. Uh, Larry O'Connell scores the contest 78 to 75 points. Daniel van der Veel scores the contest 78 to 75 points. Bob Logis scores the contest 77 to 75 points, all three in favour of the winner and new junior champion. John Murray. Well, a pregnant pause there from Mike Goodall, but fortunately for British fight fans, John Murray wins 16 and 0. Ladies and now and looks forward to a Christmas break. To, to a very good opponent indeed, Nacho Mendoza. I'll now ask the stewards in charge, Mr. Simon Block and Mr. Tony Bean, to present the championship belt to the new world lightweight youth champion, John Murray.
Well, John, great win. Are you happy with your overall performance? Um, yeah, the, the way I won, um, I, I would have liked to have done the full 10 rounds, but like I say, uh, I was winning quite easy on the scorecards in the end. And, uh, you know, I would have liked to have done the 10 rounds for the experience more than anything. You know, he's a tough, strong kid and, uh, you know, I, I hurt him with some shots in there today and he, and he sat on the ropes a lot and I just went about my business and worked and, and picked up the points, which is a great experience for me. You think it would have gone 10 rounds, you weren't on the verge of stopping him? I wasn't sure, to tell you the truth. Uh, I thought I was hurting him in there at times, but you know, I was just going about my business. And if uh, if it went the full ten rounds, I was, I was ready and fit to go the distance, you know. But uh, I was pushing for the stoppage, as you see seen there, as, as late as round eight, and uh, I, I wouldn't stop the pressure all the way through. I wanted to try and get him out if I could. Do you feel your overall quality of opposition puts you ahead of all the other British prospects? Most definitely, you know. He's a he's a great he's got he's got a good record and that, and he's been in with some quality opponents, you know. And uh, he's done well. We saw tapes of him before, and that, and he, he's a good kid, you know what I mean. And uh, you know, I'm very happy that the experience we've got in there today and uh, the first title. I'm over the moon. And uh, also, a quick note: uh, it's my dad's birthday today, so what a great day to win the title on, you know. I'm over the moon. So, what's next? More international opposition, or are you going to gear up towards a British title shot? Definitely more international experience. Uh, I still want to campaign at Super Weber. I, I can make nine stone four easily. Um, I, I've took the opportunity here at lightweight today. I've gone in against a good kid, and uh, I've, I've done the business. So uh, you know, I'm very happy. Well done tonight. Cheers, thanks. Sir.